um, lights, and this is heart support. Being a female in this industry comes with a couple different struggles. I mean, one of them is the often subliminal pressure to be sexy. Yeah, obviously, that's one that's been there for a long time. And another one that I've noticed is the under, people underestimating you. Um, people really underestimate your abilities, and, and I've just learned that you have to not think about those kind of things. You just have to do your craft the best that you can do it, and everything else just ignore. I've been lucky enough, actually, to not have dealt with the pressure to be sexy um, from a management perspective. They've always been super uh, supportive of the art as opposed to the things surrounding the art. So everything that lends to the integrity of the music is what matters, and I think that's a rare case, especially with female pop artists. Um, there's got to be something else there that makes it attractive. Um, I've learned how to be appealing in my own way, and that's one of the things I've learned through life. It, my image and my look and what I consider makes me beautiful came after I discovered what I was about. Well, it's it's certainly a journey, I think, to find your own beauty, and, and that is the most natural beauty that you could ever find, and it's the most appealing beauty, I think, when you see someone that really knows who they are, it's more beautiful than anything else. Um, and that's that's for that's 100% true. Like I've never met someone who wasn't confident that wasn't beautiful, and that's because that's what confidence is. But um, it, it's a journey to get there. For me, uh, I was raised in a homeschool environment, so I didn't go to high school till, or I didn't go to public school till high school. And because of that, I think my parents kind of made me believe I was the most beautiful, the most talented, the most capable of doing anything that I ever wanted person in the whole world. And I really believed that. And that um, became a huge asset for me when I went back, went into school for the first time, because I realized how crippling the standard around you can really be, um, and how people claw you down to make you f make themselves feel better and there's just this weird and it's just this horrible environment for self-confidence um, and I was fortunate enough that at that point going into it I was en I knew enough about myself but even then I was launched into a flurry of image issues you know all of those things that come with it and that was with the upbringing that I had already so it, it's it's tough it's tough to find who you are without letting the other things affect that but it's so important and uh, my parents my parents really kind of encouraged me to do the things that I loved and they, they said you know go do something productive go find out what you do best and do it because you will be the best at it and you will succeed you know whether or not anyone else would think that was the truth they believed that and I believed that so I, I would go into different scenarios really believing I was the best and it was this sort of, sort of naive sense of self-confidence that is so necessary I think it's okay to have this really naive sense of self-confidence um, and then so because I really believe that I think I just dove into the things that I loved I bought an 8-track when I was 13 and started producing and writing and it became my identity it became what I was all about and all of the other things kind of came second. And I, there were things about the way I looked that I didn't like at all, but it didn't matter because I really kind of just focused on the things I loved. Well, this is my strong point right here. And um, I was always kind of an awkward kid. I didn't consider myself beautiful by any means, um, by the world standards, but I knew that I had something really special. Um, I have a tattoo here that says found in love because that's one of the things that I was always reminded of growing up. Um, and, and that played into my self-confidence as well. I mean, you know that you're loved and that will never change. No matter what you do, no matter how you look, no matter how you succeed, no matter how much you fail, you're still loved. And that goes on a spiritual level, that goes on a family level. My parents always made me feel like I was loved. So it doesn't matter. I mean, everything else is just gravy, right? You're, you have this amazing foundation of love at home and in your heart. I mean, I just, I, I'm learning more and more about my life every day. and especially now being a mother and, and trying to figure out how to raise somebody in, in this world. Um, there is so little that you know. You just don't know anything. You, the only thing that I've discovered is 100% true all the time is the fact that she needs love and she needs to know that she's loved. And that would be the underlying motivation for every single thing and every single decision I make every day. And I encourage other people to 
make their decisions based on that too. Because everything else will burn away. And that is one thing that we're made. If you're faced with any moment where you're trying to decide what to do, think about that. Um, and I encourage you to get to know yourself and explore the things that make you proud of yourself because that's the first way to find confidence and find find your beauty. Because your beauty is so much more beautiful than your beauty. It really is.